Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Jim. Welcome back to the Pokemon Dynasty. Today we're going to be opening up 70 packs from the McDonald's Celebration set that came out. Um, I know it came out a while back ago and they discontinued it. So I picked up all these packs after Walmart or uh, McDonald's stopped handing these out and distributing these. So I know there's a lot of controversy of people going out to McDonald's and buying up all the packs from the uh, Happy Meals that were supposed to be for kids. So... I wanted to wait until after that was over. So let's go ahead and uh, switch camera. Here are 70 packs. I did only pick up the number four as listed right there. I know there was uh, four different typings of these and they all came inside with uh, different stuff. So they came with a, a pack. This one in particular came with a small little Pikachu little photo stand just uh, pop this up right here and you can set it up and stand it up put a little photo in it um, I'm not sure the size I imagine you could probably put a card in there and display it that way as well but uh, it also did come with like a little game inside of it the other packs came with various different things such as like stickers and and little stuff that kids would enjoy drawings so I know these two had two different pictures on it. Wanted to display both of those, but they both uh, came with the same thing. Like I said, I only picked up the number four. So out of all these packs, we got two more over here. I forgot to grab. Out of all these packs, I am hoping to be able to collect a master set. There is 25 cards in here. Um, that'd be one of each starter for each eight generation plus, plus Pikachu and they also have a holographic version with them so I think at each pack ha it has four cards and I don't think it's guaranteed a holographic but I could be wrong as we can see this one Finnegan holographic a Froakie non hollow chest pin and a Rowlet Go ahead and put these holographics and sleeves as we go. We will find out if each pack comes with a holographic because I do not recall. So far, we're batting a thousand on it. Holographic Turtwig, a Froki, Poplio, and a Mudkip. Might have to move my sleeves a little bit closer. Put those right over there. All right, so continuing with the Astral Radiance that came out, I guess you do get a, a holographic in every single pack, but I continue seeing more and more people showing the damages for like the high end cards that they get, and which would be completely devastating to get like an alternate art Dialga, like origin form. And see the bottom of it just dented up. That's a huge value. Just destroyed. Same thing with any of them. Like, I've seen people with the rainbows get the same treatment. So, hopefully, the quality control in Pokemon improves. And th those people that did get those damage cards hopefully can take those uh, cards and get them traded in and maybe get the non-damaged versions straight from them. Regardless, I have been seeing uh, quite a bit of hype still from that set. Although prices have been dropping. Alright, holographic Piplup. As more and more packs are being opened up. Although I am still incredibly hyped for the next set coming out July 1st. We got a, a Litten, the Pokemon Go set. I know they have not released all the cards yet, but from what they have released, I do believe that the, the set is going to do well. 
I think there's a lot of people out there that enjoy Pokemon Go set, and they do have Mewtwo in it. And for those that uh, are thinking about getting the ETB, got to take some sleeves out. This supposedly is supposed to be coming with a, uh, a promo Mewtwo in it. So there is that, although I do believe there is a price hike with this set. I do not recall what the exact price is, but I think the uh, the specialty set is going up to like $55 in ETB or something. Torchic. But with the, the way everything is, inflation, everything is starting to be going up. Nice. Holographic Sobble. All three grass. Been pretty sweet if that uh holographic was a grass too. But then going from there, Grookey, they had a update for the Pokemon Unite. Fortunately, I have not been playing it, but I have been watching it on streams when I do get time. Trico, Brokey, Tepig, Rowlet, all right, got the holographic Pikachu, and a non-holographic right behind it, Squirtle and Score Bunny. Pretty nice. So I'm hoping out of these 70 packs, we can at least get a complete set. I'd be uh, pretty upset if we weren't able to pull out of all 70, getting at least the 25 different uh, different holographics. A holographic Litten again, another Pikachu, Chikorita, and Score Bunny. Hey, another Pikachu. All right. Another back-to-back -back Pikachu. Finnegan and a Rowlet. I say what the odds are that, but obviously pretty good. We've hit what, at least two right there in a row, and there's probably more in previous packs that I wasn't paying attention to. A Trico, Holographic, a Froki, Poplio, and an Oshawott. Three water and one grass. How many of you have been uh, watching the Pokemon Go tournaments? I myself have not gotten a chance to watch any of those streams. I'm curious to see what the format of the PvP was. And what Pokemon are uh, like being best utilized there. Bulbasaur. Sobble and a Mudkip. The Holographic Populo. I know in the past some big names for the uh, Pokemon Go, especially in the Great League was oh, we got a Snivy there. Holographic. But um, you got Azumarill. Big time tank. Then you got Warren with the uh, the double um, special moves, a Torchwig, or Turtwig, Holographic, then uh, a Reggie Steel, supposed to be really, really good. We have the uh, the new, it's like a, a Water Strider Pokemon, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Let's see, we got a Holographic Froakie, Piplup, but he's supposed to be really good and be able to beat the the Warren who apparently is a a beast in the Great League. Holographic Charmander looks 
super nice. We're about halfway done with these packs. I'm thinking we're pretty close to already getting a uh, master set. Roki, Tepig, and Mudkip. and fix this pile here. Same thing with this pile. It's getting a little out of hand. All right. So for you that uh for those of you that have been watching our holograph Rowlet Pikachu Leave a comment down of what is your favorite generation of Pokemon 1 through 8. Mine has to be you know, the original, number 1. And number 2 is right behind it. Holographic Sobble, Grookey, Chikorita, and a Score Bunny. And I was always a big Arcanite fan. Tepig holographic, Brokey, Tepig non holographic, and a Rowlet. Alright, had a holographic pipple up there. Got Froakie, Poplio, and Score Bunny. We got a holographic Oshwat here, Schneidy, Finnegan, Finnegan, and Torchic. So I do want to reiterate, I am making videos. I am releasing them every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for sure. We got a holographic Totodile, and then Sundays is kind of a wild one. I'll just uh. If I have time and the ability to, I will make a video for Sundays. Um, so far, I have made a video for every Sunday. But at some point, I might not be able to make it on the fourth day. Got a holographic Squirtle this time, which looks awesome. Oh, that looks so good. Froakie, Tepig, Turtwig. And a Centaquil holographic and non holographic. And we got a Chimchar. Got another holographic Finnegan, Bulbasaur, Sable, Torchic. Chimchar, Charmander, Chikorita, Litten. Tepig, Snivy, Finnegan, Turtwig. So going to other content creators. I've been watching a little bit of uh, Leon Hart. His, uh, his series. There's a holographic Snivy where he takes like a fan creates two boxes and they kind of like do a little battle of which version wins, but it's two boxes as of right now. It's been two boxes, but uh, he'll do like red versus blue and gold versus silver holographic Bulbasaur, Piplet, Papalu, Oshwalt, and then, uh, He takes those, opens those boxes up on stream or on a uh, video, pulls out pretty amazing stuff that correspond with, excuse me, whatever the box he's opening up. So with the uh, red version, obviously it's Charizard, then the blue version is Blastoise. They get, 
you know, anything at it from Pokemon. So, like, you get plushes, and uh, he opens up various packs that might have a very good Charizard or Charizard art on the, in the pack or package. And I thought it was just a, a neat idea. Neat idea. I got a Sobble, Charmander, it's another Sobble, an Oshawott. And a Froakie Holographic. Chespin Holographic. Chikorita Holographic. Another Chikorita Holographic. Trico. So, just to fill you guys in, my next video, I plan on opening up 36 individual blisters of Brilliant Stars. Chespin. I am really, really excited to open those up finally. I do have a couple of them that I'm going to open up. I do want to do a comparison on the hit values. So we'll have a little competition between videos of which one gives the better hits. And uh, the hits not necessarily cor cor sorry, correspond to the the most value of the hits but it is going to correspond to the point value of what kind of hits they are so for example if you get it like an, a normal V it's worth one point yeah I'll grab Snivy if you get a I'm out of sleeve so I'll, I'll put those in those later if you get a uh, an alternate art that would be worth a different point value. Same thing with uh, rainbows, gold cards. So a V would be worth one, a V max would be worth two. Gold rainbow would be worth three. I do believe the uh, Alternate arts would also be worth three points. But I will have that all figured out and stated in the video before we start opening those packs. Three grass in that one again. Down to probably the last maybe dozen or so packs. Another holographic Bulbasaur. I know there's a, a lot of repeats because there's only 25 different cards in here, and so you got 25 holographics and 25 of the same uh, non holographics. But it's a cool little set. I have been wanting to get a master set of these. I do plan on opening a ton of celebrations here in the future. I do want to master set that as well. I know the golden uh, Mew, well the shiny gold Mew, just looks amazing. Along with just the old style Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. Just the reminiscence of those cards are just amazing. Just kind of like XY Evolutions. Just the nostalgia bringing you back to the, the beginning. 
remember when I was a kid, me and my my cousin have the cards. We didn't play the card game like it was designed to play, obviously. We were very young. We uh, make up games on our own. So we do like battles where you started with your Pokemon, you leveled up with them, and then you get the evolution of it, and you'd have like a, a line of cards that you go down and battle, kind of like you would do like in a Sword and Shield whenever you do your your raids with like teammates and friends and stuff like that, and like you have a set path and you know which typing of Pokemon you're going to be battling. And, uh, yeah, we, we do stuff like that just to have fun with it. Same thing with playing the, uh, the old Pokemon board games. For those of you that were, uh, playing those kind of board games back when they begin with, like, you know, 2000 early 2000s so who remembers the uh, the game that has like the little little disc with it or the Pokemon it had a board game and everything I can't for the life of me remember what the name of that board game was Holographic Squirtle to end it with a Snivy, Centiquil, and a Rowlet sorry everybody that was 70 packs of the mcdonald's pokemon celebrations i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh i'll see you next time see ya